Yeah, he's got. A, looks like he's got a separated shoulder, so we'll know a lot more what the timeline is uh, for the rest. What what it looks like and what his recovery is going to be. Was when you guys kind of hit the gas after the first period. Was it just them sort of quoting your guys here about patience and it's it's only a matter of time. <laughs> Yeah, I actually thought off, I thought we got off to a good start tonight. I thought our first seven, eight minutes were good, and then we killed the penalty, and then unfortunately we got two power plays, and I thought that really changed the momentum of the game. Uh, so it really deflated us, and they jumped on us, and uh, that three-minute sequence left a very sour taste in our mouth going into the second period. But I give our guys a lot of credit because uh, we kept playing, we shook it off, and. You know, I thought our power play got better and better each time we got one. Uh, that second to last one was the best one we had. And, um, but I'm really proud of the way we battled and just were patient and we stuck to what we needed to do. And, you know, give that team a ton of credit, boy. I mean, they've obviously been decimated by injuries and they played last night and they played their asses off. And they made it very difficult for us and they got good goaltending. And, but you know, I was just really proud of our guys, the way we battled and how we found a way to win. Did you, uh, we talk about the kids and, and the lessons ongoing, and but how important is it for these veterans to step up? And I know that you, you're still pushing the gas pedal on some of those guys. And how important is their leadership and, and what they do? Yeah, it's huge because obviously our young guys, I think, take their cue from the older players. And you know, I thought Cryds had a real good game tonight. I thought Chatty had a good game tonight. Uh, Mika was really good tonight. Um, you know, Strom was good. I mean, we had a bunch of guys step up tonight, and we needed that. I mean, Brady Shea had a really good night. So, you know, we're going to need those guys right to the end. And listen, you know, we've got 14 games to go, and you can feel it in that locker room. Winning feels way better than losing. And, you know, obviously our situation is what it is, but we want to win hockey games. And, you know, I thought that our intention uh, over the last two games had slipped a little bit. And I thought we'd go back to it tonight. And uh, just really proud of the way we battled. Questions? Is Luke Kreider just an attention thing? Or a... Yeah, I, I, maybe. You know, it's the peaks and valleys of a hockey season. 82 games, you know, those peaks and valleys. And, uh, you know, he certainly had his uh, his his skating legs tonight and he was very involved very very noticeable tonight